In the political history of Andhra Pradesh, Kapus have always been the kingmakers. Though Kapus comprise 15% of the state's population, none from the community has ever become the chief minister. They dominate the constituencies in the east and west Godavari districts, which account for around one fourth of the state's assembly strength. The Reddies in the past helped the Congress occupy the throne until actor N.T. Rama Rao emerged as an alternative in 1983. Since then, either the Kammas or the Reddies have been at the helm of affairs, Rosaya being an exception. Since both the communities are numerically less than the Kapus, it becomes inevitable to owe them ahead of every election. The Kapus have always backed NTR's Telugu Desam party, but in 2004 assembly elections, they threw their weight behind the Congress. Over a period of time, taking advantage of the numerical strength, they began demanding reservation in jobs and educational institutions despite being a forward caste. In the run-up to the 2014 assembly elections, Naidu promised inclusion of Kapus in the backward class category, which would have helped them avail reservation. When nothing was done to keep the promise, in 2016, the Kapus resorted to agitations. In 2017, the besieged Naidu granted 5% reservation to them, but the bill could not secure the nod of the centre. Therefore, in February 2019, he sliced the 10% quota for economically weaker sections among the forward caste and gave 5% to Kapus. With Jagan Morgan Reddy promising to double the welfare assistance for Kapus, they shifted their allegiance to the YSRCP. However, Jagan cancelled the 5% reservation granted to Kapus, citing legal issues. As the backward class communities constitute nearly 40% of the state's population, adding Kapus in the category will affect the prospects of other communities. With the Kapu issue fast becoming a political quagmire, it remains to be seen how Jagan waits through it.